Yeah, hi everyone, welcome to MZ Lodge for another week. Uh, yeah, pretty good week, I suppose. A couple of horses raced really well. Um, I thought, uh, I actually thought Trent's ride on Conciello the other day was very, very good. He drew a crap gate and sort of uh, got the horse across, and uh, yeah, it was a really good ride for a young boy learning how to ride. So he, um, he's only had a couple of rides since he's been here, and um, I think his rides are okay. So uh, he'll certainly get another couple of really good chances. I've got a couple of really nice horses sort of that are going to run in the next week or so. So keep an eye on them, and I'll put Trent on them, and they should be. Um, right around about the mark. Um, uh, what have we got this week? Um, uh, not a real, I'm going to trial a couple. Um, probably uh, um, our main day will be Wednesday at Sandown next week. Now um, probably Macaria will go back to a 12 meter maiden. She uh, she went really good first up and uh, ran third at the valley. She goes back to, I imagine it would be a similar sort of race. Um, I think Sandown will probably suit her better than Mooney Valley. Um, I'm uh, going to gallop uh, Roldana and GG Girl um, on Saturday morning and pending on their gallops, but um, I might run uh, Roldana um, at Sandown. She's really, really fresh at the moment and um, I just want to try and get the edge off her a little bit. She's uh, going to get set for the nice staying races in the next couple of months, so uh, um, she's just a little bit fresh, so we might just run her rather than trialling her. GG Girl seems to be going extremely well and um, I'll toss up whether I run her at Sandown on Wednesday or wait the following week. There's actually a Phillies and Mares um, race uh, the following week at Ballarat and I think the big long straight at Ballarat would probably suit her anyway. You know, Thursday at Tarang, I'll probably run a couple of horses there. Um, a new horse to the stable called Royce. Um, he looks like a really nice horse. We used to train a really nice horse called, uh, they call me Bolt. She was a city place sort of horse. And this is her brother. So um, he's only a new horse to the stable. Um, uh, he galloped up pretty good through the week. So he'll, he'll no doubt go well at Tarang. Um, I thought Stenson went okay the other day at Colac. And he goes to a 1400 metre maiden. So um, yeah, he'll get back and get home. And I think the long straight at Tarang will really suit him. You know, uh, at Camperdown Trials on Tuesday, um, we're probably going to have uh, oh, maybe five, six, seven horses trialling there. Um, certainly the little charge forward filly that we featured here a couple of weeks ago, she'll trial there. Uh, a couple of older horses you might know, I might trial Macrobius and Brianna, um, or I might even just take them straight to the races. I'll just see how they work on Saturday morning. Um, a couple of other first starters will um, step out there and have trials. We're probably really busy at the trials Tuesday, and hopefully uh, they'll run in the next couple of weeks after that. Our little mate here, Prince Ziggy, he's, uh, he, he ran a city placing the other day and uh, he seems to be going okay. He'll go to a 2,000 metre race somewhere. There's not a lot of city races for him at the moment, so, um, but I'm going to give him a crack at something um, uh, at a decent sort of staying three-year-old race. And uh, so he'll go to a 2,000 metre maiden somewhere in the next couple of weeks and then uh, he might have a crack at something like the Alistair Clark or something like that. And uh, if he's competitive there, he might head off to, uh, to maybe run in a South Australian derby. Uh, if not, he'll uh, punch around and win plenty of races, no doubt. He's, uh, he, he seems to go really well, this horse. Hi guys, it's been a busy week. I've had four rides over the past week, with the highlight being Conciello here running second at stall. It was a game run, and hopefully I can stick with him next start. As for the week ahead, it's another busy week. Got jump outs at Cranbourne Monday, camping on Tuesday, as well as a couple rides at stall. Uh, things are starting to pick up for me. The last week's been pretty busy, and the week ahead also busy, so things are definitely looking up, and hopefully we can find a winner in the near future. Uh, if I manage to pick up any more rides, uh, just look out in the acceptances and you'll see what I'm riding and where I'm riding. Uh, hopefully everyone has a good week and I'll see you all next week. Yeah, that's it for another week at Emsley Lodge. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, headed down to the Melbourne Premier Yearling Sales this week. Uh, no doubt there'll be uh, plenty of really nice horses there. Uh, they were quite expensive last year, so I'll be interested to see how the market is this year. Uh, I see the um, New Zealand sales of Magic Millions will ride up, so uh, no doubt Melbourne will follow, but um, there's always a bargain to be found at Melbourne. It's a great sale to buy out of. So, uh, yeah, anyone interested in coming down the sales, by all means, give us a ring and come down and have a bit of a wander around, have a look at a few horses with us. be great. Um, pretty exciting time for us here. Uh, James, my oldest boy, he's uh, due to have his first baby, him and his partner, um, this week. So I'm um, really, really excited about that. And myself and Janet are going to be grandparents. So, yep, all happening here. And uh, James is actually going to come on board here. He's been working at uh, Rosemont for the last couple of years and done a really, really good job there. And uh, uh, with the team, Anthony Mithin and the team there have taught him so much about racing and, uh, and breeding and uh, foals and weanlings and all that sort of stuff. Now James is going to come on board and uh, we're going to probably have a few more of those sort of mares and foals and yearlings that here at our farm myself and uh, James and his partner will be looking after him which is great. Till next week, see you later. Winner being Severn Road at Geelong, uh, he's a tough old horse and he knows his way around Geelong synthetic. Uh, I made up for the made amends, sorry. Oh.
So I expect him to run really well on Sunday at Echuca, providing it's not too wet. Um, and he'll be, uh, he'll be there about... Oh, That's all right. And uh, she's been trialling up OK and uh, just threw a nomination in at Mooney Valley on a Friday night and it didn't look overly strong, so we're just going to have a roll of the dice, di dice, dice, dice there. <laughs>